seems to be working. The race menu is working properly now. I've created my character here, and we're going to get started. Um, I will include a mod list in the description in case you're interested in what I'm using. Um, I do have a pretty hefty list installed, so, um, it'll be easier than me going through and listing them all out in the video. I'll talk about a few that I'm using just because it does change gameplay some, um, but the rest of them will be included in the description if you want to check that out. I will include, uh, Nexus links for each one as well. So I think I'm done with my character. I am using race menu um, and CBBE to make, to have more options and customization. So as you can see, this looks a lot different than a vanilla character here. I've got hair packs installed to give more options for hair. Some packs to change the eye color and make those more detailed as well as the ability to like sculpt your character's face and um, it gives a lot more customization so we have somebody that's pretty unique looking here this is a wood elf um, because I figured if we're doing ASMR I probably should do a stealth playthrough so we have a wood elf who is naturally a talented archer I think we're gonna shoot for a stealth archer playthrough here. Um, I was gonna do Sari, but I think that um, I'm gonna do Saren, because I think for an elvish name that sounds a little more um, accurate for what I would think for an elf, so we're gonna go with Saren for this. start mod, live another life. So as you can see, we're not starting in the wagon with Ulfric, we're starting in an abandoned prison, and we have the option to choose what we want for the start. So let's go ahead and talk to the Mara statue here and see what we want to do. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. Because you have the choice 
place to buy the house in solitude, which is, I'm trying to remember the name, um, it's one of the more expensive houses in the game to purchase, I think it's like 25,000 gold or something, and it also has a stone of Berenziah in the house, so in order to collect all of those, if you're trying to do you own? Proud Spire Manor, that's the one. So I think we'll do that one. A life of luxury. Live well, but live honorably. Alright, so we basically just use the bed and then we'll wake up in our new home. Oh, our illusion increased. I guess that's because of whatever spell
details on this. Look at the cabbage. Isn't that awesome? I'm sorry, I'm getting uh, distracted by the details on some of this food. Oh my gosh. The boiled cream tree actually looks edible. That is one of my pet peeves in Vanilla Skyrim, that the boiled cream tree looks like a hunk of like canned cat food. Look at how delicious this looks. I love it. Alright. Sorry, guys. Uh, I don't think we need to take any of this stuff right now. Um. Okay, we're not gonna do survival mode right now. Um. Yeah, the details on these buildings is amazing. It looks so awesome. Alright, um, I'm pretty sure everybody in town is gonna be at the execution of Rock Fair right now. There's a couple, like a guard and somebody else walking there. Oh, that's, um, I don't remember his name. He's like one of Shagorath's followers for the one of the daydream quests. I'm not gonna talk to him right now. I'm surprised that he is wandering around at this time because I would think you have to be a certain level for the daydream quest to initiate. Even the flowers and stuff look amazing. I do have um, some additional mods that are specifically like of a Skyrim flora overall, so it's like plants and trees and stuff. Hello, yes, I'm the dean of history and scribe work. When I can find some quiet time, I did not ask. Okay, <laughs> he's over at the um the Bards College positions. All right, I think is everybody over here. Yeah. All heart within. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve this speed! There was no murder! Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords! Stick around to watch his head get cut off. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. You sure do, buddy. I'm sorry to say. Now that that's done, I think we'll just be on our way. Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. Got it. Um, I had to update some of the settings for Kaiden. Uh, to reduce swearing because he's, he has some hilarious comments, but he also swears like a sailor and he drops a lot of f bombs. So I adjusted it to hopefully reduce the swearing just so we can keep YouTube happy because I'm not sure how that, uh, how that would go. Um, so anyway, hopefully when we save him here. It's not gonna be as, uh, his language hopefully should be a little cleaner, we'll say. Need a ride? Alright, let's Where do you want to take go? the carriage to, I think, Windelm is the closest to the abandoned prison. Climbing back and we'll be off. I think we'll take that. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some account. They say the big old palace there was built by Ysgrimor himself. I look weird with the fine boots on. They look funny with the, uh, with the armor. I need some leather boots to go with that armor. Windhelm. Alright. So, we're not actually gonna go into... Yeah, it's a little laggy here. Um... We're not 
actually going to go into window. I have to go back this way. Uh, I noticed that the load times are a little bit longer too. I think just because it's loading like 4K textures on some of these things. Yeah, the pine trees do look really cool, I have to say, with the snow on them. I also have a realistic water mod installed. Where are those wolves? I should probably be, um... Oh, we should wear this since we have it. I should probably be armed. I'm not sure if the, um... I don't even see any wolves. I don't know where they are. Uh, we have to head this way anyway. I normally do uh, try to collect the alchemy ingredients as I'm traveling. Um, oh, it's Mike, I think. Mike the liar. Yeah. Mike wishes you well. Uh, thanks. I wish you well as well, Mike. Uh, if you don't know, that's a little Easter egg to some of the previous games. I'm not sure if he's in there as far back as Morrowind, but I know in Oblivion there's a Mike the Liar. I, um, have not played all the way through Morrowind. I tried. I started it at one point. But, you know, over time as they make games, they kind of make the the gameplay easier and easier if you go, if you're used to playing like Skyrim and you try Oblivion, it's a lot more challenging. Same thing with Morrowind, even more so. It gets harder and harder. Um, so it, I found it to be very challenging. It's, I mean, it's a really old game too. The, uh, graphics and stuff are pretty bad. I know there is a lot of mods for it that you can, like, sort of improve the the graphics somewhat, but I didn't get very far in, in playing it. Maybe at some point I'll go back sometime and try it again. Get all the rocks and stuff on the ground. It's crazy. I feel like I'm playing a new game after installing these graphics mods. I wanted to try it. It's not something that I've really done too much in the past. Um, but it does make everything look really nice, I do have to say. Okay. What? Okay, I do see a wolf up there. I'm wondering what this is right here. Is that just a rock? It looks like it has. Oh, there's creep cluster on it, that's why. Yeah, like these. I thought these were the 
those little blue mountain flowers and they're not. Um, these look really cool too. They look like hyacinth or something. I'm not sure. But they're very detailed. And they're not something you can pick up. They're just wildflowers. started to say I don't know that I really need to be picking up wolf pelts. I have the same problem in this game as I do in all of the other games I play where I'm just constantly filling up my inventory and then <laughs> trying to clean it out when I'm over encumbered. Alright, there's a mill here. Sister, you look weary. I have something to help you relax if you're interested. Oh, we got a skooma dealer. The finest skooma, the sweetest moon sugar, at a fair price, of course. Ah, a snitch, eh? Can't have you running to any guards now, can I? <laughs> Now that we're in here, 
to take out any of the cards with the bow and hopefully I could get them before they reach me because they're Thelmore agents so they're gonna all be you know well above my level at this point I think if I remember correctly there's only like one or two cards in here. Uh, so hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Maybe what I should do is use that poison I just picked up. That would give me a slight advantage as well. Let's see, is there... There's a card right there. What just happened?
wearing so I'm going to wear the elven armor but the leather boots and bracers um I guess for now I should probably put the helmet on as well I don't really like to wear helmets just because I have my character's fancy hair and I won't be able to see it but in this case I'm probably going to die so I think it's probably a good idea for me to have the extra 13 armor so I'm going to use that Yes, okay, I am wearing the, that art amulet still. And then here is another note, which is the prisoner's side of the story of the abandoned prison. The storm is coming, I can tell. The water leaking in has become stronger. There's no better time than now. When the storm hits, the guards will be scrambling to figure out what to do with us. Amidst the confusion, we need to overpower the few that will be standing guard outside our cells and hold off the cell block entrance. We need only hold off until I can get one of their swords and break open the drainage grate in the corner of my cell. That's where we'll make our escape. Everyone move downriver and we'll try to find shelter there until the storm passes. Well, I don't think their plan went very swimmingly. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, they're all skeletons now, so it appears that all of them, the prisoners, died. And this is where he's talking about that hole over there. There's several potions here which would be useful. A key. Woodcutter's axe. I don't. I should. I guess I could take that. I do normally carry one with me. All right. Let's go see if we can help kite now here. Oh, he looks pissed, man. When I get out of here, I'll kill you all myself. What? Who are you? You're not with the Thalmor, are you? Quick, get me free from here before more come. The Thalmor invited me to high tea. What do you think? <sighs> I don't know. Some Justicars ambushed me outside of Falkreath. Choking on my own blood and you want my life story? Look, I don't know. They just kept asking me something about the blades and the sword I had. Please, just help me out of here. Well, obviously, we're gonna get him free. Ah, you're a lifesaver. Alright. Well, you know, I said he looked angry, but I guess being tortured by the Thalmor would do that to you, so gotta give him some credit. Ugh, a bottled miracle, this stuff. Thank you. Wait, there's one more thing. One of the Thalmor got his hands on my sword. I know I've got no right to ask, but I could use your help in getting it back. Headed deeper into the prison, and with luck, he's cornered like a rat. Yeah, I think he probably is. Let's, uh, see if we can find him. I'm sure that, uh, Kaiden has a score to settle with him. Alright, we got some gold. A steel, but I guess that's probably the best option to give to Kaiden. Um, he... His weapon is a Nodachi, which is... A two-handed sword, so it's equivalent to like a great sword, kind of. I appreciate it. Okay, let's give him the... Where'd that go? Let's see. We'll give him that. Uh, I think that's probably going to be the best option over a regular sword for him. Look at that keg. It's super shiny. I'm just gonna keep making comments. 
sounds like that. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, let's see. We probably should take any extras that are in here. Thank you enough. I know you didn't have to help me. What's the story with this sword? The question on everyone's mind, even mine. The sword belonged to my mother. I never knew her, but it's my only real clue to finding out who she was. Listen, I owe you my life, and I'm not a man who's comfortable being in debt. If you ever have need of me, I'd be glad to fight alongside you till that debt is repaid. Be glad to have your trouble with me, obviously. <laughs> I don't know why he'd be in this prison trying to rescue him if I didn't want him to travel with me. I think if you do, like, part ways with him, um, he just goes and hangs out in Falkreath, which is kind of funny because he tells you that Falkreath is a place that's not worth visiting if you ask him. That's where he ends up. Dead man's drink. Ah, we have a skill book here. Alright. And some gems. Let's give him his rest of his gear here. You found the rest of my gear. Mind if I get that armor back? It's been my second skin for years now. Anything for me? Yes, in fact, I do. I think that's all of this stuff. Uh, that bow oh. see me through a fair few hunts. The bow, right? You wouldn't mind it back, but you're welcome to keep using it. I think that I will. Alright, and then his tent supplies. Let's see what he has to say about that. Aha! My tent! I thought for sure those fucking Thalmor would have left it behind. Well now, that'll be coming in handy as we travel. You're sure excited about it, Daddy? He really is. <sighs> Not like this one. Just you fucking wait. I made it myself. There ain't any other tent like it in all of Skyrim. You'll see. trying to find a way to cross the border into Peel Pass. In the meantime, I've been picking up bounty contracts to keep some coin in my pocket. I must have drawn too much attention to myself. I'd been camping by the lake when they ambushed me. Seems the Thalmor don't ever need much evidence to bring in a suspect. They took one look at that sword, 
decided I'd be a good target for interrogation and dragged me off to that abandoned prison. <laughs> Brynjar used to say, if you're not a little afraid, you're not understanding the situation. Fear I can deal with easily enough. But there was a moment or two when I started to think it really would be the end for me. The Thalmor would never have let me go, no matter what I told them. You faced our mortality too. Perhaps you know the feeling. Yes, but fighting back is the only way to beat it. You really are formidable, aren't you? <laughs> I could almost feel sorry for your enemies. Probably. And I'll be ready for them. Live and learn, right? Alright. Let's go. I agree, let's go. We gotta get out of this prison here. Nothing useful in there. I think the fastest way would be to go down that uh, escape tunnel into the... Let's see if we gotta go this way. Ah, we got drunken revelers here. Good afternoon. Hey, my friend. I'd it's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting room mead with me. Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. I think if you give that guy an extra, like if you have the mead and you give it to him, he uh, gives you something. Like maybe a gold necklace or something like that. I don't really remember. Alright, so from here... We're going to travel, um, try to make our way to Iverstead, and then from there we can go up the mountain and um, get over to Elgin eventually. I just wanted to walk over here to um, <coughs> make sure we had the fort on our map. See my share of Tamriel. Nothing compares to the wilds of Skyrim. She's beautiful. 
Ashi is dangerous. I think we'll just keep going on our way here. Oh, there's a horse up here. I don't know why there's just a bunch of dead wolves here. This is kind of weird. Look, it's a wild horse. Oh, it's not. It's someone's horse. I don't know whose horse that is. Oh, that's kind of weird. We should look for game while we're out here. Good idea. Um, once we get to Iverson, we'll probably break and I'll just go in the inn so we can rest there. The film are in. Um, and then we will pick up in the next episode and try to get our make our way over to Halkin. It shouldn't, I, th I think from Iverstead, it's not super far. It's just up over the mountain. So I think it would be good to take a break. Find solitude of being in the open wilds. I'm guessing that Kaiden probably would like a break after being tortured for however long he was trapped in there. These uh, ruins are interesting. something for you. It's a Nord wall. Carved from a bit of tusk. You can use it if we ever get separated. I'll hear it, and I'll be able to find you. Are you alright? I am alright. Just glad to be out of that disgusting place and breathing fresh air again. How about you? Oh, I like the thought of the rest. I'll call that a good start. Hmm. Well now, if we had over White Runway, I know some people, good people, that might be worth checking in with. I seem to remember they always had the inside track on bounties. Are there any family or old friends you might want to see? 
now that you mention it, there is. Haven't been that way in going on ten years now, but if we're over Orkstead way, there's someone I'd like to check in on. A childhood mate of mine. Be nice to see how he's doing if we have the time. Aye. There's a few places I've found to be not really worth visiting. Falkreath's one. Nothing much of an interest there. Dawnstar's another. That place is fucking cold. And I don't just mean the weather. <laughs> Aye. I think he just tells you to avoid places that he got himself into trouble, honestly. Peacefully, yeah. Where is my road? I think I got off the road. Yeah, is this the road? I think so. Okay, so I'm not gonna stop to talk to anybody here because it's actually quite beautiful here. Once we get our main quest when we visit White Run, they're gonna send us back this way, so I'll just wait and talk to people at that point. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Well, obviously, tell me more about the barrow. If it's haunted, I want to know about this. Here, take a look at this. Oh. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Well, I'll take that as well. I suppose it's the beast I can I want to know about the barrow, though. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrel. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrel? If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. This should be interesting. About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure Pardon hunter. Me. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night, we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. We never saw him again. Well, that seems suspicious. I think we'll have to go check it out. Heard any rumors lately? Travel to Elgin. Alright, so he didn't actually say anything out loud. But we gotta go see what's going on in Elgin. <laughs> Why did he just get up just to switch chairs? How can I help? Up to the monastery. Watch your step. It's a long way down. That thing's evil, Lindley. I'm intrigued. I told you to keep away from there. What about? What were you getting up to before you rescued me? I won't go over there ever again. See that you don't. I promise to. Let's see. I was locked up in the same prison as you. I guess that's accurate. Aye. Right, well, I can sympathize with you there. Seeing as we're both locked up in the same godforsaken shithole. Well, whatever you did or didn't do, fuck it. I'm just glad you freed yourself and came to my rescue. That 
it's all really. Glad to know a bit more about you. Of course, you get your rest. I'm not really tired, so I'll be here if you need me. If I could sweep her away from Won't let anybody bother you. You don't have to stand guard all night. I think it's safe for you to relax, you too. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. I appreciate the concern, but no. Can't be a good shield if I get pissed and tangled up in the sheets now, can I? <laughs> Pardon me, my lady. Would you care to hear me play my lute? No, thank you. I'm pretty sure I just told him to go find a chick to hang out with. Uh, I need to double check these, um, the settings for him because I thought... Let's see. I thought I checked it for less swearing. Um, but he's still swearing a lot, so. Oh, I do see. I do have it on. He still swears. Alright, so I told you he swears like a sailor. I guess we just have to deal with some of it. That's just how he is. That oh. is one very tall drink of man. Welcome. Can I get you anything? Aye, an ale if you will. Lovely village you have here. Yes, indeed. Although smaller than it used to be. I saw a house along the road here. Looked empty. Ah, yes. Old owner passed a few seasons back. I'm supposed to try and find a... Alright, so... I think we'll wrap up here while he's just talking to the barkeep over there. Why is that? Not many so... people want to move out into the forest this far from a city. Hi. So we can wrap up and then I'll go back in with Gaiden and Rast. Thank you so much if you guys tuned in to watch today. Of course, I appreciate each and every one of you. We have quite a few new viewers as of the last week or so. So welcome to all of you guys if you're watching this. I really appreciate all of you new subscribers just as much as all the old ones who have been here watching all of my content. So welcome to you, and thank you to everyone who took the time to watch this video. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. We will pick up where we left off here at the inn, and 